We're the weenest pioneers, Ken. This is now our responsibility. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to Behind the Beards. I'm Ken. I'm going to say it because Bryant, I don't know he trips over it. Um, I'm Ken from <laughs> Ken's Constant Beards and Fitness. And next to me here... Bryant from Ken Con Ken's Constant Beard and Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. I'm telling you, Ken's Constant's... Ken from Ken's Constance Beard and Fitness is hard to say, especially when you have to say it right. Like for some reason, it's not hard to say off screen as hard, but whenever, I don't know. He was like, oh, you want to start this one just before the thing? And I'm like, you got to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I struggle on the spot. I really do, but it's all right. It, it, it makes good laughs. It makes for right. some good laughs. Right. My expense. Yeah, so hey, tonight, uh, I mean, I'll let Bryant, I guess, say what exactly we're going to talk about. We're, we're going to kind of go back in time and talk about early Dead Man's Beard Code before some of you may not have seen. There's probably somebody in here that I'm that actually remembers. interested. Yeah, well, I was going to say, like, if you got, okay, so what we're talking about, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Ken. No, you're good, you know man, you're good. All the time. So we'll be talking about the website and, like, the old logo, and um, I wonder how many people in here knew Dead Man's. Once you see the little logo, like I wonder how many people actually knew I even existed back then. You know, because that was 2023. I, I actually, I don't know if you remember this. Can I actually change the logo kind of in between right. until the new one? I, it sucked and I hated it, but like I, I liked it for a second. So um, <laughs> you know me, always changing stuff. So I wonder if anyone even really knows the old one because that goes back uh probably like august 23 was when i dropped that one so it's pretty you know not old but we definitely blew up after that you know right yep a lot of changes i remember 
I remember you changed the logo in between on Instagram. And um, mm-hmm. I I don't remember how exactly we started talking about it. I noticed it or I don't remember how it happened, but I sent you a message mm-hmm. like, dude, what is this? And you're like, oh, I'm changing the logo. And then like 10 minutes yeah. later, you changed it back. You're like, I hate it. Yeah, I had um, I had the vision of this dead man's and just didn't have the knowledge or understand to get there yet. And it's so funny now because I look at some of the stuff I did and I cannot believe we're going to watch uh, my first ever uh, Instagram like video today. It was so cringy, like not of me, like of a quote unquote, like advertisement. So bad. Oh, Ty, I, I didn't yeah. know that uh, you ordered that. That's awesome, man. I uh, was not even paying attention when I filled it. Nice. Let's go through the chat real quick. So Steve Yeager, what's up, man? He says, my beard is really appreciating your products. Yes. I was just oh, talking some... to someone online and he was like, you know, uh, I get like seven cents, uh, seven, six, seven hours. I was sending your cents. And I was explaining to them. Those are the essential oil ones. And I was like, I'm a beard first company. Always will be. Ken and I had this conversation back in the day. Like when I first came on the scene, Ken was like, I understand your products are incredible for my beard, but there's going to be a little disconnect, like with the clumpy butter. And like, so we kind of evolved into like a hybrid butter and like, I learned how to beat some of the scents of the more ref, uh, unrefined stuff that's better for your beard, but is hard to work with. So yeah, I'm always going to be a, a beard first company. So that's awesome to see. Sorry. Yeah. You had, you first one. yeah and I remember we, we talked and you changed your cooling process a little bit, um, which, which helped to be clear, the butter in the beginning was not a bad butter whatsoever, but what I was referring to was how, you know, you have, or I have to, which is my job to help educate on what is the difference between like grit and natural texture? What's the difference in, Mm -hmm. you know, why is this still a good butter? Um, But yeah, you've continued the entire way to make changes that just improve, improve, improve. Mm -hmm. And you've made some, even some changes recently, not to improve anything, just change some names. I don't know when you, I I think you posted about that already, right? I'm wearing, I'm wearing the fruit. I don't even know what you call it now. I'm wearing the uh, fruity loopocalypse. You're wearing it. (laughs) I'm wearing it today. That's what I wore today. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I want to have more fun with the names that, um, you know, when I did the rebrand, uh, everything was very rushed and like I was running out of time. So now that like, like fruity loopocalypse loop apocalypse, it's a long name, but like it's an apocalypse of fruit loops. And it's kind of fun. And like the art is cool. I got to spend some time on it. So I just felt like it deserved kind of that rebrand. Um, and I'll probably do a couple more, but I don't know. People don't, I don't think people like the changes too much. So, I mean, everyone seemed to like that one, but I just get worried that like people love Renew. I have a name and a, a artwork for that, but I don't want to upset anyone that loves it, you know, and, and the name does match, you know, in a way. So I don't know. It's tough. It's always playing. It's always balancing everything out, you know? Right. What's up, Jacqueline? First lady of Dead Man's Beer Co. Good to see you. Mm-hmm. Mark, yep, Tynamite, man, that Fortunella. Um, I know that there has been people that have been able to get their hands on that so far. Very, and if you very have, few, very few, which yes. is good. I, I like yep. that. It's kind of getting out there and people are seeing what it's about. I've got some really good feedback on it so far. I love it. Yeah, I wore it today. Uh, so twice. good. I actually mixed it, remember? That was pretty cool. You did. Actually. We were talking about that, yeah. Um, so that will be out. Have you talked about when that officially comes out and everything? I don't want to um, speak ahead. So it'll be available on the site May 3rd and, um, it's a really cool scent and I don't know, I can't speak for everyone, but like it's fruity up front, but then it has like this nice, like hibiscus background too. It's very unique. Um, I don't want to give away what it is. It's kind of a, a it's a very unique set of essential oils, but it's, it's a cool scent. I love it. You love it. I, I, I haven't gotten any bad feedback on that one yet. So I'm uh, I'm pretty optimistic about that one. This is way different than Agave Ties, though. Yeah, and what he's talking about specifically is that Fortunella, which I'll be reviewing that on my channel on May 3rd when it comes out. And then we're actually going to have a special live stream on this channel on that night, the release night. So I don't know what the full plans are for that stream, but all I know is that we are having a stream. So that'll mm-hmm. be that'll be coming. Um, Indie Wolf 7 says, sorry I'm late. No, you're just here. We're just getting started. Good to see you. Uh, Josh, what's up, man? Good to see you. Um, Sky says, I cannot say that name. Is he talking about Fortunella? Probably. Or or Fruity Loopocalypse. Who knows? I think it uh, sounds easy to say. Fruity Loopocalypse, it, it flows. It flows. 
I'll, I'll have to get used to it. I have to get used to it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Silent Robert, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, Yo, Golden Fleece, good to see you. John Drennan's here. John Drennan. I don't know why I sounded like I was uh, taking a sip when I said that. Um, yeah. Oh, Mr. Silent Robert, tried Fresh Forest today. Still Ooh. my favorite scent from the main line. I always go back and forth between that and uh, Spiced Rum. Those two are my top two. Uh, but the fresh yeah. forest is man. So I mixed fresh forest today with the Fortunella scent that we aren't giving you guys the uh, the full details on yet, and it was it was actually really awesome. It was a super unique blend. Um, so that's all I'll say. Uh, definitely hard. And what's up, Michael Romy? Good to see you, Mark Johnson. Um, Jacqueline says definitely hard to say. Try to say in it ten times fast, and go. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat and I just wanted, you know, thank you guys for coming here. It's Friday night. I know you guys probably all have other things you could be doing, but we appreciate you. I, uh, I really like sharing some of the insights on the company and stuff with everybody. So it's really cool. Yep. If you don't mind throughout the week, uh, one thing that I'm going to start doing more is posting on the Instagram. Our plan is to have the live every two weeks and then I'll be posting videos on the channel um, the opposite week of that. If you don't mind, when you come across those, if you enjoy the show and think somebody else may enjoy it also, then share the links out, share the post. Um, I mentioned it in a few of our recorded episodes. We don't have a fee. There's no entry fee. It's free to come hang out, but we do have a fee. That's just share the show if you want to. It's not really a fee. Mm, mm. Pay the fee. You got to pay the fee. Right. I will mention that we, uh, if you have any questions along the way, throw them out there. Kind of like I always say, put a Q colon in front. That'll help me to uh, be able to save those, go back and search. And if you have any questions for Bryant about Dead Man's for me, anything throughout the show, throw them out there. We'll either answer them at that point. If we don't answer it right away, I promise you we'll definitely come back to them. Uh, won't skip you. So Bryant, what do we got tonight? I, I know one thing we have. I don't know when in the show you want to do it. And that's the does Bryant know segment. That's always fun. All right. So man, that's Man, that's a good point. This whole show is going to be picking on me because this, uh, the <laughs> website's kind of funny, like to go back and look at. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just biased because I'm the one who like evolved. Um, hey, there's Mel. Uh, by the way, I saw uh, Johnny got his cookies today. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him a message later. I'm sure his mind's blown. <laughs> he did. Yep. He posted last night. Yep. There's Mel. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Her and my daughter um, went to Ulta. Um, luckily, my daughter had her own gift card. So I, Hopefully I'm not broke right now. Um, <laughs> if All anybody, right. if anybody has daughters, you know what Alta is. Um, so yeah, you know my my struggle. <laughs> yeah, Indy Wolf just said uh, the cherry tobacco comment, and uh, I think cherry tobacco is like the the I guess like uh, the first like I, I won't want to say banger, but like very like. There's a lot of ingredients in that one. And I feel like that blowing up recently over the last like three to six months has been a huge part of me being able to be comfortable to try something like agave ties was super crazy, weird scent. Um, and then that worked out. So I think I, I love uh, cherry tobacco so much because it's given me the confidence that, oh, maybe I can make a scent from scratch. Um, I, you know, it's not just a cherry tobacco. I, I was actually just talking to someone about this. Almost all of my scents are mostly essential oils. The ones that do have fragrance are very minimal. So something like a cherry tobacco with, with minimal fragrance is very difficult. So it took me a lot of time to put that one together. And agave tide, same thing. There's only one fragrance in that, and it's very minimal. It's, it's a background note uh, just to keep it around a little bit longer. And I used it in such a minimal way. So like, um, I, I love using essential oils and trying to get as much as I can. And, and most people know cherry tobacco will last most of the day, which is really cool for a mostly fragrant scent. And same thing with um, agave. Right. Um, Yo, Golden Fleece, no, I appreciate it. He says, as far as I'm concerned, Ken pulls these shows off flawlessly. I appreciate you, man. It's live streaming something I love to do. I'm a I'm a nerd. I'll sit here for hours and put things together, but um, it's all about you guys. I want to make sure that no matter what show we're talking about, that you guys get a good experience. So that's what it's all about. Mm. Um, appreciate you, man. Uh, bad song. Here's a scent idea. Bad song says I'd pay thirty dollars for a one ounce of a Red Bull scent. <laughs> bad song with a bad idea. No, I. It's so weird. Red Bull is one of those things that smells bad and kind of like should taste gross, but I love it. It's so weird. So, 
what what do you want to do first? I, I'm excited. I think about we should the, go uh, into this. I think we should go into the site first because I well okay. Let's let's can we take a poll? Site or pick on Bryant with uh, uh, people he does not going to know that you guys are all going to know. Yeah, They're and for those of me. you that may not have seen some of the earlier shows, we didn't do this during the last live stream, but we have a segment during our recorded let's episodes. You let's run it. We have let's a segment, so I'll just go and explain what the segment is. Um, so for those of you that aren't aware, this is something Brian, and this was all, don't let Brian fool you. Brian says that we're picking on him, but this segment was all his idea. Like he came up with this. So it's just, I'm a weird, I do. Uh, yeah. It does hurt though. Still a little bit. So, so Brian told me a long time ago, I don't remember how we got on the topic. I think I asked you about something. You didn't know who it was or whatever. Um, but apparently Brian is not very good at knowing who pop culture icons are. Um, and so we came up with the idea for a segment where I will pick just pictures of well-known uh, pop culture. So we're talking actors, singers, you know, whatever, movie stars, actresses, athletes, people that are famous or even were famous at one point and see if Bryant knows who they are. So that's what we're going to do. Mm. We're going to start that up. That's right. Oh, nice, Dean. Nice, man. Nice. All right, so here we go. So, Bryant, before I hit the button, what I need you to do, sir, is turn your chat off. I am already out. I'm out of it. I'm okay. out of it. I already jumped out. So during this segment, Bryant <sighs> cannot see the chat. He has no idea what you guys are chatting about. That way, when you guys see the pictures, you can still say whatever you want, and um, mm -hmm. he won't be able to see if you're – basically, you won't you won't spoil it. You won't drop a mm -hmm. spoiler. So no worries. Chat whatever you want to, but here we go. This is Does Bryant Know? And I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, chat, feel free. <laughs> Bryant can't see the screen. Oh, man. I'm between Elton John and John Legend. Uh, John, no, not John Legend. He's not. That's not him. John that's absolutely Lennon. not John Legend. Yeah. All right. Uh, John Lennon, maybe. You are that's so, my... you're so close. You don't know how close you are. But oh, also is this, so, far he, so he's a Beatle probably. All right. So and I, I, I didn't by say, way, I'm not. Okay, well that so it's just a guy with a guitar. So is he a Beatle? I don't know. Okay, give me a second on this one. So I actually love music and I play guitar and I I just got into the Beatles like a little bit recently and I just didn't like them when I was younger, but um now I do. But I still have never like seen anything with them. If this is not John Lennon, if that is that wait, first off, can I ask a question? Is John Lennon a Beatle? Is that a real name? John Lennon was a Beatle, yes, sir. All right. Then... And chat, I see, I see the guesses in the chat. Um, I'm not going to put the comments up on screen yet, so I'm not ignoring you. I promise, but um, I don't want to ruin it for Brian here while he's trying to uh, compute <laughs> and figure this out. <laughs> it was not John Lennon. I just got. I just want to say Rolling Stones, but I have no clue even what that guy's name is or if it's even him. This is a bass guitar, so like I don't know who played bass guitar for any thing that was important bass is kind of like the lame the lamest of the lame when, when it comes to a band not i like i play good bass guitar so i'm not saying anything bad about it but it's kind of like you don't get any like fame usually <laughs> so i have no clue who this is right so it's not john lennon it's not mick jagger um the guy's name is john... mick jagger is that his last name or a first name no 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 it's not you mentioned a second ago a different band that's no, yeah. I know, but is Mick Jagger a full first name? Or is That's a full name? first and last name. First and last name. His name is Mick Jagger. That is freaking cool. Man. Is that better? Is that name better than uh, than Gordon Shumway? Yes, way better. <laughs> Mick Jagger is such a cool name. I always thought that was like a last name. So T Tobuth Willie says, does he get lifelines? Um <laughs> Sure. If if you guys want to throw some some uh, throw me a lifeline, clues, me some kind of throw clue, a lifeline. Yeah. If it doesn't give it away too much, I'll throw it up there. We'll see how it works. Um, yeah, oh, I'm gonna feel. I feel like there's a guy in the Beatles with a weird name, and this guy looks weird, and I want to say it's him, but <laughs> I can't think of what that guy's name is. It's like Ruby or something, or Roly Poly or something. So let me ask you a question real quick. So between you and Sky, does Sky know? more pop culture does he keep up a little bit more um i would say probably not we both yeah well apparently maybe he does i feel like we both <laughs> like liked weird bands growing up that weren't super popular and like 
we always kind of watch like the weird shows like we were like big tim and eric awesome show fans like we always just watch the weirdest stuff so we never really stayed in the the pop uh, oh thank you todd i appreciate that i think it's one of the best in the market i i love it myself um let's see here now skylar is saying that he knows who it is. I'm, I'm, Skyler apparently knows who it is. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel like he probably like Google imaged the guy. Okay. Ringo. Jeffrey, that's the I name see. I was thinking of. But it's not. Mark. I think Mark knows. He guessed it. He he answered it earlier. Um, so here are some. Jeffrey, I'm going to wait just a second on yours. Um, Indy Wolf says he's a sir. He's been knighted. That is a true statement. He has been knighted by the Queen of England. I know it's not Prince. <laughs> It's absolutely not Prince. Yeah. <laughs> Prince yeah. is dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start to put you out of your misery here. Let me put Jeffrey's comment up and see if that helps. No, I have that. Uh, Paul McCarthy. Close. Right? That, I, what? Say it one more time. Say no, no. Say Paul it. McCartney. Say it. Is that his real yes. name? Ding, ding, ding. You got. So was that Paul a beetle? McCartney. That's a beetle. Yeah, he was a beetle. He was absolutely. Man, a he beetle. was looking beetly. I knew it. I knew <laughs> he was it. looking beetly. He was. Like I, yeah. That's awesome. Hey, at least I'm usually on the same planet as the answer. Right. Yeah. Paul's, Paul's not that's, dead man's big. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good hint there. So Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney is a British vocalist, songwriter, composer, bass player. So there you go. Poet and painter whose work with the Beatles in the 1960s helped lift popular music into a creative, highly commercial art form. He is also one of the most popular solo performers of all time, both in record sales and and attendance at crowds. So he's one of their main singers. They have two, right? Usually going or something. Um, right. They all, they all sing. I think they all <sighs> sing at specific. I mean, John Lennon's a great singer. Also uh, Ringo. I think they all sing at one point or another on tracks. So I'm going to get like, people are going to stop using dead man's. If I keep getting these big ones wrong, that's rough. That's a, <laughs> that's a big one. Dynamite said, yep, I'm out. I'm out. Yep. See, exactly. <laughs> I can't lose his respect. <laughs> so Jeffrey, um, am I taking this comment literal or I'm not sure what you're saying here? Yeah. Um, I, have, very, I have follow-up questions. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to clarify that, that's pretty cool. If you were, I don't know, clarify, sir. If you, if you don't mind, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. Next up. So the next one, we only have two tonight. So the next one Thank is, God. I already got a beetle wrong. Now, <laughs> the next one I intentionally did the way that I did because it's an older picture. I think most people, especially from my stream a couple of weeks ago, I think several people in the chat are probably going to get this. We'll find out. We'll find out. But here's the next one. It's, Who is this? That's a wrestling stance. I have no clue. I have no clue. It is a wrestling stance for sure. Yeah. I'm curious about the chat. Chat again. Bryant can't see your uh, your comments at this I, point. I'm pretty so. sure it's not the Undertaker. All right. So uh, that people always say that Undertaker has something about dead man's. That is not the it. Undertaker. No, it took me a second to realize what you're saying. No, that's not the Undertaker. No, no, I know. I'm saying that's like the only one that like, I know. I, I know it's not The Rock. Oh, okay. I didn't know this. So he's oh, saying there was I a... heard that before, uh, Jeffrey. And I also heard like a, so one of the songs backwards talks about his death. I watched something on it. It's definitely a little interesting, but. So, Mike. okay. Go for it. I can't hear you, but go for it. Um, yeah, no, I broke my mic. Oh, okay. So, so Robert, no great guess because going back to like the, the nineties, they do kind of look alike, but no, not Jeff Jarrett. This wrestler is, is still this? around. I'll throw this up because I don't think that this will help you get it. How much do you know wrestling right now? Me is like none. Like I, okay. like zero, like the rock. <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> so. So Sky says that's the dude that owns the WWE. I don't think he owns it. He is, I think he's definitely in charge now. I don't know exactly what his title is now at this point. Um, so Bryant, a quick hint. Vince McMahon used to be the CEO of the WWE. He's not at this point. Um, and this is Vince McMahon's son-in-law. Does that help? No. 
I think the only other wrestler I know is like the Flair guy. Okay. John Chat? Flair or whatever. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and put you out of your misery here. Robert Allen got it. Triple H. This is Triple H back in the old days. Back uh, when did he? Probably early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, this is when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Um, his real name is Paul Levesque. Triple H is what he's known as now. Um, so born July 27th, 1969. What's that? Is he the one that did like the like suck it gesture? Isn't that this? Yes, guy? he was part of the Generation X. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, Generation X is what they called it. I did not yeah, know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was annoying in yeah. high school. So better Skyler, known as the ring I'm name. I'm calling BS. He doesn't know who that is. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally calling BS. He's googling. He. I, I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna say he knew it because he did. Uh, he did guess uh, uh, Triple H's role in the WWE right now. So I think he knows who it was. I think he knows. Um, <laughs> Better known by the ring name Triple H, he's an American business executive, actor, and retired professional wrestler. Regarded as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, he's the current chief content officer and head of creative for WWE. Interesting. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I, now, uh, I do remember the kids in high school doing his X gesture, as you called it, a lot, too much. So I remember that. Yeah. Now, the cool thing is Triple H is my favorite wrestler of all time. Always has been. I didn't know until I put this together. I never knew when his birthday was. We share a birthday, so that's pretty cool. We have the same oh, birthday. Oh, that's wild. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so that has been uh, that has been. Does Bryant know? Uh, oh, for two, I don't, baby. I don't have all the cool points. Maybe we'll throw this up as an uploaded video, and I'll put the point system and everything on there to make it fun. Mm. But um, You have no yeah. points to tally. <laughs> Zero points. It's going to be an easy edit. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was brutal. The Paul McCartney one hurts. That's like when I thought uh, someone was Beyonce. I didn't know who <laughs> Beyonce was 100%. Like, I'm, like I guess I'm usually in the realm. Like, I know roughly, but I don't know, man. I can't bring it home. You first said John Legend, and then I figured out you were trying to say John Lennon, so... We're still good. I was going to block you if you said John Legend for real. I actually think I would be able to pick John Legend out of a a lineup, but I could be wrong. Yep, age. He did, and and the reason he doesn't wrestle anymore is because of his heart condition. So, so yeah. What's up, man? Good to see you. Art of Beardliness is here. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, Alicia Keys. Yeah. <laughs> all right Brian. so i just found out who she was and i immediately got it wrong that's so, so funny yeah, jacqueline funny. um i'm assuming jacqueline's still here so uh you may have done this on a video ja uh, bryant told me the story about um watching the super bowl and how he was going to know who alicia keys was and then a commercial came on and he got it wrong instantly so that's great yeah i don't remember if it was beyonce that came on and i thought it was alicia keys or alicia keys came on and i thought it was beyonce no i think Beyonce Alicia Keys on. was, was like, on the halftime show of the Super Bowl. There was a commercial, though. And I was like, that's Alicia Keys. And she's like, that's Beyonce. And I was yeah. like, crap. <laughs> you sh I should know who Beyonce is. but. All right. So what do you got for us tonight? I got several tabs ready. Let me know what you want to what you want to look at. I want to pop in into the site and see. Oh, I'm going to read up in the chat. I want to see if anyone, know, anyone remembers the old logos and stuff. Uh, I am 34, but I've lived, um, answering, uh, G Lou, but I, uh, I live under a rock, man. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> she's still, she baffled. said she's still baffled by it. <laughs> she saw it real time. I was like all proud. Steve good. says, don't feel Thank bad. You, He's not good at the stuff either. Yeah. Appreciate it. That makes me feel a little better. I feel like some people just like, don't absorb, like they don't, I don't care enough about pop culture people to like absorb it usually. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Just like, I'm always just so super focused on what's around me. You know what I mean? Not like what car Beyonce is driving. I just don't care. Or like what her song is. Cause it's probably trash. So, <laughs> and I don't even know what her music sounds like, so I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> if it doesn't really, really interest me, then I don't get into it. And then something like dead man's that early on interested me, I go way too deep into it. So I have like, a very bad feel, a very bad like medium ground right right um so <laughs> dean i'm not sure um just, just, still, just 
Yeah, just oh, uh, I thought you were joking. I would say just like ignore your calorie tracker that day, you know, like oh, I forgot. No, Dean's Dean's doing some good stuff. He ordered some keto chocolate chip cookies from Mel, and um, he's asking about nutrition. Huh? That's not. That's hilarious. That's actually supposed to be a peace sign, Skylar. The other finger is hidden. You can see it in the shadow. Let's see. So in the shadow, oh. you can see that it's actually a peace sign. Is not supposed to be flipping you off. That is hilarious. I'm gonna leave it though. <laughs> uh, I'll throw you up there solo. I can see the shadow. I see the shadow. Mm -hmm. But Sky's right <laughs> from the terrible. angle. It does look. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I actually noticed that one time, and I was I gotta fix that, and I completely forgot about it until Sky just said that. That's so funny. That's awesome. Um, Dean, send me a message, and I'll see if she has nutrition facts. Um, she might. So. See if we can see if we can help you. Um, all right, so Brian, um, what do you want to go with first? What do you want to? And let me say before you start, if you have questions throughout the way, Q colon before the question tonight, and we will have a Q and A towards the end. Again, the goal is to keep these shows towards an hour, and um, yeah. So what do we got, Jeffrey? That is a Telecaster. It's actually a Telecaster Deluxe. It's um, a seventy-two remake. Hold on. I've had two of these. They're my favorite. So a Telecaster Deluxe actually has the strat shaped head. It doesn't have the normal telly head and it has two humbuckers as opposed to the normal telly. So they're sweet guitars. Absolutely love this thing. It has a maple neck. That thing is sweet. So if you want to talk about Bryant not knowing pop culture icons, I know very little about guitars, so there you go. <laughs> Everything you <laughs> just play, said to me is Greek. I don't play as much as I should, but I used to love it. Scholar can play drums and guitar, and I think he's played bass even at one point. Scholar's a pretty talented little little guy. He actually got really good guitar. He was I feel like for the longest time he would like get mad because I was good. But way better than him. And then he like what when I stopped playing a little bit, he just started getting really good. So I think uh my my stopping of playing, you know, he thrived. So I play the acoustic a little, but I'm just too much of a perfectionist and it ruins it for me. Right, right. Yep. Jeffrey says he can play just about any instrument and has quite a few. Yeah, I always wanted to, but it's something I never really got into. So mm. So I think that what we got to do is we got to go right into that terrible video I sent you. So it's um, the first video ad I ever attempted to make. I won't even say made. I'm not sure. It's, it's like a half baked cookie, right? It's still not fully cooked. So um, I will be honest with you guys. Turn your You might want to turn your volume down. It uh, gave me a headache watching it pre-show. It's yeah. pretty terrible. Earbud, earbud wearers beware. This is your warning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and I'll note, um, we'll do this. I'll, this is this is the third reel that you ever put up on the IG site. Yeah, and it was the first video I like tried to make like from scratch. Like other stuff was like content and stuff, but whew, this is gonna be rough. Uh Michael used to play trumpet in middle school and the recorder in kindergarten. There you go. There you go. Hey. Nothing wrong with that. Get that set. All right. All right. So I'll go ahead and play it. I remember this video. I remember this was <laughs> aged so poorly too. I thought it was so cool back in the day. <laughs> All right. So earbud headphone wearers, if you're wearing them, beware now. You got to count down three, two, one. There's your warning. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear it. I think Mel said last time on my stream on a Sunday that nobody could hear the audio. So hopefully chat, let me know when I do play this. If you hear it, I hope you do. Uh, now you should hear it. <laughs> I hope you guys are hearing that. Mm. So the art, the art is on point okay. though. <laughs> they hear it. They hear it. All right, pause there. it. Pause All it. right, so you tired here? So I'll turn the volume off. Okay, so Brian, talk about the ad, man. Seventies church commercial, Indie Wolf. I just, on. I, I don't got anything to say except for that I'm sorry, everyone. I let you down. I can't unhear it. 
<laughs> Skyler loves it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It's um, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to make something happen. I knew that it was terrible, but like I thought maybe it would be awesome because it was so bad. But no, nah, it was just bad. But Skylar's artwork looks pretty good, so we can at least say that. Right. Actually, Sky, did you draw this one, or did I just like crop stuff together? No, you drew this one for sure, for sure. But yeah, this Jack- is. Uh, Jacqueline says, "What do you mean? That's a banger. She likes it." I mean, listen, it is a banger in its own right. But knowing what I was trying to do, which was not that, it is embarrassing to me. But it is funny now. It's really funny now. Um, <laughs> Yo, Golden I, Fleece agrees with you. He says horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I feel bad. I'm going to get messages in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I just heard that lady's voice in my head. Ugh, it's terrible. Well, here, let's uh, one more time for good measure. Mm. <laughs> You should sing it. You should sing that. Sing along. Oh, no. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I feel like she hits every possible note. Like, that's available to, to be a note. It is, uh, is yeah, Scott goes, gets the point across. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, that scent was a banger, though. And it still is. It's coming back at still, some point. That is a still absolutely is. great scent. <laughs> Yeah, Art of Beerliness says, on a serious note, I'm big on just putting things out there. makes progress visible throughout the years. 100%. 100%. 100%. That's why we're doing this, for sure. I, one reason why I will never take it, content down from my YouTube channel. Bryant, leave this up. Yeah. Maybe. I, uh, <laughs> I, and even, like, I, when we go through the site and stuff, I actually liked our old artwork. I did have uh, trouble, like, putting together, like, uh, branding with it because it was so, like, colorful and different. But and I like wasn't utilizing the labels properly and stuff at the time. I didn't really know what I was doing that much. But uh, but yeah, like when we go to the site, it's more like my marketing and like just like for me, I think it's more funny. I, I don't like I was telling you before the show. I don't know if a lot of people will think that my old site and stuff is like that bad. But the issue was my vision was so much different than what was happening to me. I was missing the the um. I was missing the boat, you know? Right, right. It's progress, right? I mean, you we you talked we talked two weeks ago about how how the company started, you know, progress of how you came around you, you changed carriers, you changed pretty much everything. It's all progress. Um mm. so yeah. Indy Wolf, I feel like eating lemons and putting flowers in my hair and being a big bearded <laughs> man, uh, well kind of funky. Hey, look, I am not afraid to admit I will be a a manly bearded man with lemon scented beard oil. I love it. I love it. I think Jeffrey is, he's uh, said, I think you were building the boat. I think he loved, I'm pretty sure he loves the scent. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I know he loves revive. And I think this is one of the, Jeffrey likes all the scents that I, uh, that I, that I chopped the block on um, and turned to seasonal. So I feel bad, but they'll come, they'll always make their rounds. So. Yep. Scott yeah, said, I even though I drew those designs, I hate them now after the new artwork. Sky's like, good. man, we're we're OCD though. We like we could find like a the smallest thing and we'll just end up hating it. Just like how we're built. It's terrible. Let's uh hit the site. I want to see if anyone remembers that old logo, which I know Jeffrey probably will. Tiny Mike, how do you have revive? I'll say real quick, so so Mel says I personally love lemon. Most of you in here know, but Mel is my wife, um, and she loves lemon. Which means I'm gonna wear lemon because you know makes her snuggle up a little bit. So mm. I think she loved this scent too. She was in the actually she was in the uh, um, video for it. Sky, Sky, I'm gonna. Um, I am so glad that I have a bottle of the coffee scent. I'm so yeah, glad I'm that bring I have that, one. I'm, I'm I'm bringing that back. Um, I'm gonna bring that back in a, in a pretty cool way later at a later date in a different way, but stay tuned. It's funny because back then I'd be like, well, it's not selling. So I would chop stuff, but then like, I wasn't selling anything besides at the barbershop. So <laughs> like I was telling Scott today, I was like, it's just, it's funny how like, you know, things weren't selling and I would make changes, but like 
and obviously it led to what ended up happening, but I would just chop stuff and I, and Sky would be like, why did you stop doing that? I'm like, well, I wasn't selling it. I wasn't selling anything. So I don't know what, what my statistics were on that. Man, ladies love that one. Yep, you, Jeffrey you said made his wife bigger. loves it. Yeah. All right, so here's the old site. This is the way that I think that I remember the site whenever we first linked up. Um, unless this was something even more original, but I at least remember the logo and the, and the, the font there. So, uh, I don't know. Talk us through what you, what you got here. Oh, uh, Ty, I think you're thinking, and this is one of the reasons why the R words, the R names get confusing. I don't think you've tried revive unless I sent you an actual, maybe I did send you a sampler test of the new revive potentially. You have to let me know, but I think re there's renew, which is grapefruit um and then refresh which is lemon lime revive is is like straight up hops like it like almost knocked ken off his chair when he first smelled it it's very strong um so you have to let me know if you have the hops one that'd be interesting um so back in the day so first off does anyone remember the dead man's beer co label looking like this i'm very interested to see it skylar drew is half of the face you could actually see too like i didn't even finish the face i just left it blank in the middle of the logo i didn't know what to right. do right <laughs> that's yeah. just what i did it and worked. this was I mean, like, it connects up with the with the the words i mean it worked well the thing was this logo um was supposed to be because when okay so when i first started dead man's before i knew the beard uh community existed I was like, oh, I want to do like a two bit kind of thing, like uh, eight bit beer co. Maybe it's called eight bit. In my brain, it was oh my god, blueberry lemon cookie sound bomb. In my mind, it was two bit, which is like video games, like old school. So I'll actually go to the very bottom to start, and we'll scroll back up. So this is the first. This is actually the first video I made. It cuts off a little on the top because the I threw it in here, but my whole that was going to be dead man right there it was going to be the two bit guy. And it was going to be a video game style. It was going to be level up your beard. I, this took me like three days to make. So I made this and then I put it live in the site and I had all these, the logo and the big pur bubbly purple. And I was all ready to go. And like, I think it was like two or three days later, I got a message was like, Hey, you know, it's cool and everything, but like, you know, there's a company that does this already. Like, and I looked it up and I was like, Oh my God, I took it down that day. <laughs> so that was a real bummer. And it was, but it was like kind of a good thing in a way now because I like where I ended up like this would have been cool too. But, um, I liked where I, ended, I like where we ended up a lot, but yeah, it was, this was going to be the initial vibe of dead man. That was going to be dead man. His beard was going to be crap. And it was going to, as Ty would say, come back, come back from the dead. Or wait, no, Ty said uh, only thing more natural than death is dead man. That's what it was. So, nice. yeah, so it's going to be, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a video game style. So, Sean from 8-Bit, if you come across this, this is nothing current. We're just showing old stuff. So I actually uh, reached out to him once <laughs> I found out he existed, and I just was like, hey, I know how tight the community is. I know it's hard to believe that I'm an outsider because, like, most people start up in this industry, like, from knowing it. And I was just like, let's – you know, I just want to, I, I don't know if I shot him message or had someone do it for me that mentioned it to me. I don't remember, but I made sure he got, um, got that, uh, heads up, you know, that I, I didn't mean anything by it and I did take it down right away. But yeah, if you go all the way back up to the top, we'll kind of, I'll kind of, now that you guys saw the two bit, I can kind of explain like these side cartoons and stuff. We're all going to be like that, like just kind of video game vibe and stuff. This was like my pivot to like just artwork. But, um, but yeah, it really threw a wrench in my plan. It really did. And even my, even the font, you know, is like that retro video game style. Right. Um, font. And like some of our first photo shoots, Sky and I did with like on a Pac-Man machine. It's, it was tough. It was tough to, to find out that it had been done before, but that was the concept. Yeah, Jacqueline, for sure. Definitely more sophisticated now. Um, for sure. And we had this conversation when you were rebranding, you were like, Hey, does it, does it seem, I forget the word you used, but basically you were like, Hey, do you think this comes across as more of a brand now, more of a legit brand? And I was like, Oh, absolutely. Talking about the rebrand. Yeah. It matches. Like if we scroll down and we see these, uh, photos here, um, 
I could, I just, obviously they come from the same company, but I just felt like I couldn't get good branding photos like that would like jive. You know what I mean? And now that I look back at it, I could have got rid of the backgrounds and made the faces smaller, but like, uh, and it probably would have been more jivey, but I feel like where we ended up like right now, I just, uh, changed the name of, of, uh, the fruity ring cereal to fruity loopocalypse. And I got to have fun with the artwork on that. And like the artwork on the bottle though, is still kind of classy, even though it's like really like bright and crazy it still fits in with the brand i guess is what it's kind of the best of both worlds is what the new rebrand has allowed me to do is i can still have fun still have the cool artwork still do some cool stuff on the on the label but everything just fits together really good and um i think takes like a better like when you take a photo of the brand it looks like a brand now as opposed to like a wild card of like this kind of like reminds me of like uno or something there's big huge giant colors you know right yeah you you in that you look like a legit brand now um mm -hmm. you can see the grit in my butter right there you can literally see it from here well and and i did i did notice that so this is what we were talking about at the beginning and it wasn't really that it was gritty it was just the texture this was when this was all 100 percent unrefined shea um <laughs> so it wasn't gritty at all it was the texture of more of that natural raw shea. Um, so Jeffrey, um, sorry, Jeffrey, psychedelic elixir was uh, sweet tarts, and then it started to evolve into Fruit Loops. And when it did that, I left it psychedelic elixir for a while, but I knew I, I, I wanted to rename it Fruity Loops. And then I found out legally you can't do that. So it was Rainbow Loops for a little while. And then, and the reason it was Rainbow Loops is because like, I've noticed that people – want like renew is not a great name they want to know it's grapefruit like um just from watching people and how things perform on the site and how like long people take in where they look and stuff i i realize that the more blatant that the, the name is the better it does if that makes sense so that's why i ended up pivoting to rainbow loops and then once i figured out a way to tie it back to the fruity loops without getting in trouble that's what i uh that's why I pivoted to. I know I make a lot of changes, but people got to realize it's just me. And like, like it's a nightmare. Like I have, I wear so many hats. I actually hired um, some help today, kind of in a, in a, in a different way, not anything obvious, like in the lab or anything. But um, so these changes, like I might have an idea, but I have to continue selling the product until I can fulfill it or spend the time on it. So I just got around to finally renaming psychedelic elixir from a year ago just now you know what i mean so right. it stinks that it has to wait that long but um luckily i'm busy filling orders and making product and and keeping the site from breaking down and i do everything myself i label i mean jacqueline helps occasionally I, I, she's in the chat so i can't no she helps a lot but um <laughs> it literally is just us doing it so if i get backed up on something it's just because i i want to provide good service and like get everything out right away and you know i wear a lot of hats so yeah indy wolf says only knowing dead man's for a little over a month i love the look you have now it's sophisticated yet attracting and informative on what you're getting yeah mm -hmm. besides it's definitely very informative yeah i feel like it's tough to play like all natural and be a skull so i think that we have found a nice middle ground yeah, thank you, Steve. Appreciate that. Actually, I saw someone else was in the chat earlier that I just sent new butter out. The only butter he had tried was the original, original nighttime butter, Ken. So he was like, hey, I kind of want to try. It was, uh, um, I'll see if he pops in. I don't want to name him if he doesn't want to be named. But he's like, hey, I kind of want to try the uh, new butter. And I never really liked this one. And I was like, I got you, man. I hooked him up. <laughs> You so, talking about the original, original nighttime? Or original, the, one? the one that okay. you didn't like. Yeah. 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 The second <laughs> remake of the nighttime butter was fantastic. I still have that. Um, yeah. Refined, unrefined shea is a very distinct smell. It's very hard to overtake with like, with like Ifra regulations right like it's right. it's like nutty and like but also somehow like minty but also somehow like olive oily like it's a very unique scent 
The King Fruit Skull. Loop. Let's go. Fruit Loop sugar cookies. Mm. I don't even uh, really love Fruit Loops that much, but the smell I love. Yeah, Jacqueline. So yeah, the first one to me, and it was funny because whenever we were, so the very first nighttime butter, um, Mel could pick out the floral scent in that one, and I could not. The only thing that I got for some reason was spearmint. And I don't even think there's spearmint in it, right? There was some peppermint in it, but I think that that blended so poorly with the unrefined that it made it smell spearminty. I kind of, once you said it, I kind of got it. Um, but until you said it, I didn't. But I was also still at that time learn retraining my senses from losing them from COVID. So I was a, a disaster. Right, right. And Steve, I actually still use a, um, some raw shea, but it's a very, like, I have it all, I do a hybrid run now, so I do refined. Basically, you wouldn't be able to tell there was unrefined product in my butter anymore, but you will notice as you, you use it. So I know you know what I'm talking about. It's like heavier. It's more dense than a lot of other butters. I, I love our butter. I've had a few others and I like them too, but like, man, the bang you for your buck you get when you get like that really dense hybrid butter, it's so nice and it spreads out so nice. I don't know. I love it. I love the benefits of unrefined. So I really wanted to bring that to a refined feeling butter. And I think I could never get it whipped or like fluffy and light like a uh, shaving cream like some people can, but I, uh, I think it's perfect right down the middle, you know? Yeah, it's a great butter. I enjoy the butter then. I'm one that raw shea does not bother me. It's Raw shea is definitely an acquired taste, quote unquote taste, but it's, it's definitely an acquired um, something that you like after a while. The benefits are good. The scent does take some getting used to. Some people don't ever get used to it. They don't like it. But um, if you can get past the scent, raw shea is really good. Mm. I, I don't mind the scent. I don't mind this. I'm so used to all the unrefined stuff now. Cause I use unrefined carrier oils too. And they all have like a little bit of a nutty scent. Now I'm very good at getting around them um, in my fragrances, but early on this is very hard to work around that stuff. So yeah, anything else on the site? There's the game. Um, yeah, I do. Remember no, I this. mean, does anyone have any questions or want to look at anything? I mean, go to the, all the beard oils. I want to see what sensor on here. Cause there might be, Let's see. There's the coffee. I wonder if leather and embers on here because you never, still never smell the leather scent that I made. That is. Nope. So there's, um, I'm guessing not because you have the lemon sugar cookie on here and this was more recent than. Yeah. That. There's revive the OG bottle. Right. Yeah, a lot of these. So Cherry Stogie's still around. That one, two, three, four. So four of these six are still around. I don't know about the top. Yeah, Steve, thank you. I I, th I pride myself on like hiding unrefined product. I really do because I told Ken early on, oh, there's another one. So five out of these, six out of these, nine are still with us. Um, I, I take pride in like uh, being a beard first, beard health first company. And like the fact that with Ken's help, we were able to get the sense to where they are, to where they're like, like some people are saying, like I, Miles called me when he first tried my sampler pack and he was like, literally, this is like some of the best sense I've ever smelled. Like your ability to make sense are incre is incredible. That is so amazing coming from ha like the fight I used to fight with like black seed and unrefined shea and unrefined mango butter and all my all my carrier oils to this day are still unrefined. So the fact that I'm able to be a, I don't mean this in a bad way when people use refined to be beard first. Um, and then the sense still match that quality. I think that's really cool, you know, cause I, I told Ken, I'm never going to not use unrefined and I ended up using some refined, but I still stuck to my guns on it, you know? Well, like Steve said, you come up with a great balance. Talking about the butter for sure. Um, 
I saw um, art of beard. So I actually do all the new artwork, which is not something I ever would have thought I would say. So Skylar drew all these on computer. And um, so I was starting to get really busy and like changing sense up. So I started getting pretty good at like maneuvering these. Like I made Fresh Forest from like if you scroll down, I actually made that one in computer from uh, this one, the which, other forest one, the uh, Fireside Forest. Obviously, if you scroll up all the oh. way right there. So like I took that and I made in a computer, I changed all the colors and everything to be the Fresh Forest one. And like, so I started back then to get pretty good at that. And then when I actually crafted the Dead Man initially, um, the, uh, I was able to then like kind of maneuver it and learn about how to move stuff around on a computer. So basically all the Dead Man stuff now is me generating it, moving things around. I use like four different programs. I am not good at it. Skylar's way better, but he's also very busy running a barbershop, being a master barber and trying to open more barbershops. So like I, it just came down to like, and if I wanted to continue with our own artwork, I was going to have to figure it out myself. So yeah, everything you see now is like me patching stuff together in programs on a computer on multiple programs. Cause I only know how to use, like I use like four programs and some of them I know how to do some things on, but I don't know how to do other things in that. So maybe someday I'll, I'll be able to kind of figure that out. Yeah, that's so true in any form of creation, even in content creation. I mean, just to make one video, there's so many different programs that I have to use to put everything together. It's just, yeah, you end up using a lot of stuff to make a bottle of beard oil in your case. Mm. Uh, Art had a good question. Yeah, I wanted to get one from Indy Wolf real quick um, because I saw his there. He said, "Um, don't hate me again. Never, man, never. Um, Knowing the company for a month, I have cherry tobacco and spiced rum. I'd like an earthy, mossy type scent from time to time. Do you have anything like that? Would you say that Fresh Forest is mossy? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever really smelled something and been like, that's mossy. So I've heard that a couple times lately, and I'm like, oh, that's an interesting way of saying it. So I'm going to let Ken go on that because I I don't know if Fresh Forest would be considered mossy. No, I wouldn't say Fresh Forest is mossy at all. Um, He's talking about – so Fresh Forest is – it's definitely a – woodsy outdoor earthy type scent but it's more of a sweeter variety um he's probably if i had to guess and any wolf correct me if i'm wrong he's probably looking for something that's a little uh less sweeter more earthy is is i think so, what he's looking for agave ties is earthy but i think like wouldn't fall into the mossy it's more like a sea salt agave lime mixture so there's a little sweetness there um yeah, I'm not sure. I would have to like mossy. I would have to really like s- smell something to know what what they're what he's getting at there. Yeah, I would say for what he's, I, I think that I kind of know what he's. Um, I, I think I know what he's going for, and I would say for what he's looking for, you don't currently have something like that. Yeah, and like just so you know, Indy, I'm like like when it comes to like um, other people's scents and stuff, I don't really like. I really only use Dead Man's and like. I don't mean I don't have a couple of our companies on my shelf now because I support them as friends, but I was never like a big fragrance guy. Like, Oh, I'm going to make my own version of Chanel five or whatever. Like I just make everything. Like one thing you'll hear about my company is like, Oh, it's a super unique scent. I just make stuff that I think would be cool. So I, I don't know. A lot, I, I hate to say it, but I don't know a lot of other people's scents. So even if you said, Oh, um, you know, uh, Chanel six or something. I have no clue what that means. <laughs> right. I'm going to pull something up here real quick. Michael fresh forest is like one. Of, it's probably man. It's definitely my like top two ever. Like, like, uh, I, no matter what comes out, like I'm big on agave right now. Like I always have fresh forest in my rotation. Same thing. Okay. Those are my big two. Oh, it looks like there's, a, if you go to the website, enter this month's giveaway. Oh, I wanted to go. mention that. Yeah. Um, I was going to the site to talk about sense, but while this is on screen, if you want to talk about that, because once I click yeah, it, you so, know, it'll be gone. Yeah. Uh, if anyone goes to the site, this pop-up will come up. You can just enter your email. 
I this drawing I was on 415, which I think is like Monday or Tuesday. Was that Tuesday? So uh, I'm going to do monthly giveaways from my email list. So uh, definitely go over there, submit that. If anyone orders anything tonight too, I was going to throw in a, uh, a free bomb just of the scent that they order and whatever. So that's just something I was going to do without even mentioning it. No pressure. Um, the giveaway yeah, is pretty simple right now. This one will end on 14. I will shut this down. And then once I draw it and everything, I'll probably put this back up with a, a new vibe. So people know it's a different giveaway. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but I, uh, I wanted to continuously do giveaways and they get a little crazy on Instagram sometime. And I want to do it in a way where I could like email the person a gift card and, and just make it easy. Um, not have to track people down and such. So, <clears throat> and Jack was letting you know, that's Monday, the date that it ends. And then, uh, do we have another question on there too? Yeah. So I was going back to, um, to art. His question, can you pick mm -hmm. one daily scent, one nighttime scent? That's kind of what spurred me to go to the the main current mm. site. So I updated the site list, the scent list uh, the art, last night, and I was thinking about you, Ken. Oh, oh yep. It's uh, cutting off a little bit. Yeah, it does. Um, let me do this. There we go. That's perfect. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Um, so, did you answer that for art? I know you were talking about scents. So I know uh, what you would answer, but I would say like my go-to daily. So I'm going to answer this in a couple ways. So one is oil. Oil is fresh forest, or, like is my daily go-to. And then butter, which is like quote unquote a daily, but it'd be my nighttime. Like my favorite butter is probably Renew or Fortunella, the new one. It's just something about citrus at night for me, like works out really well and psychedelic, but well, fruity apocalypse but renew is lately just like with the essential oils in it like knowing how good it is for my beard renew and refresh interchangeably like they're so good for your beard um those two i just love at night and then a date night scent i i can't ever answer one but i would say um black label is like if you're trying to smell really good for like an event like i love black label and then my go-to like regular date night quote unquote scent would probably be cherry tobacco. There's something sophisticated about cherry tobacco that feels like a cologne, even though it's not. Yeah, I would say for me, so I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go from both lines cause it's the only way that I can do it. Um, yeah, that's what I should have too. Yeah. So if I go from the main line, um, my favorite two cents and every time this comes up, this is how I always say it because they're like my top two. So Fresh Forest is going to be my daily wear. Um, if I had a favorite just to wear daily, it would be Fresh Forest. My favorite date night scent, and if you've smelled spice rum, maybe you'll get it. But spiced rum, I think I've worn on so many date nights. That has just become a date night scent for me. Um it's not necessarily a cologne scent. It's not what you would think of as a traditional uh, date night type scent. But for me, I think it's great. You can almost, you can almost say it's a citrus cologne. It's not, not at all. Yeah. People, but, people call it a uh, Viking cologne because it's like uh, spicy and fruity. Like if you were back in the day and you had to make cologne, that's what it'd be. It would be spices with like a fruit. Right. So I've heard a lot of people say it's like a Viking cologne. Um, and I think that's a great way of explaining it. Yeah, and I agree with Steve. I think Michael said it also. Fresh Forest is phenomenal. Such a great scent. If we go over to the uh, the Essentials and Absolutes line, my top two, for the longest time, my very top has been Renew. Fortunella, the new scent that comes out May 3rd, that is my absolute favorite from the Essentials mm -hmm. and Absolutes line. I'm with Bryant you. Bryant sent me a bottle of that in an unscented. It's so funny. So um, I don't know several i guess a couple of months ago at this point it was when you first sent agave tides you mm -hmm. had there was a bottle of unscented in the package and i took that out mm -hmm. and because the bottle said unscented i just set it on my desk and then me and brian were talking later he was like did you smell that bottle and i was like what are you talking about it says unscented he's like dude it's not unscented go smell it, <laughs> it yeah so good it's so good i love that scent it is it is renewing that one are like so close and how much i love them yeah black label is 
the best. Like when I first wore black label, just like when a lot of people, I think this will give people some perspective on my scent strength. Um, black label was so strong. I didn't, everyone loved it, but I didn't wear it that much early on. But as you, you get, as you get, you know, make utilizing beard oil more and more, you get used to it. And I built up to the point where it doesn't, now I love it. Um, I, I wanted to say something. I saw Ty mention the bottle um, in his hand. That hand and that bottle, I had to draw and create separate and then implant it behind the guy. I had a really hard time doing that. <laughs> it but turned I was out like really set, good, though. Yeah, I was set on it being there. So um, that was difficult to do, but I figured it out. I think it's funny. Steve says, I accidentally got Fireside Forest, and it's very good, too. Fireside Forest is good, and everybody knows I don't care for uh, smoky campfire type scents, but the campfire in it is so it's, it's not super high and it's mixed so well. You definitely get the campfire scent, but I enjoy it because that's, it's not overly campfire. That's my least favorite scent in the lineup. It's just not my style, but I get so many compliments on it. So I know like, just cause I don't like something doesn't mean that it's not a mainline banger, which it has literally been since day one. So, right. um, I would say that's been the top, like three to four of scent sales, like always, like it's always been there. And I, I can, I would, I don't think I've ever had anyone say they didn't like it. Even someone like you who I expect to not like it, you, you know, you didn't love revive, but you were like, I, I actually like this one from a smoky perspective. Like it's as good as it gets, you know? Right. <clears throat> Yeah, Sky's Spice Rum smells like the spices used to make spice, uh, to spice a rum. It's very nice, fruity, yet spice without being spicy. It makes perfect sense. Um, I, I agree 100% the way that you say that. It's a unique sin, and it's a harder scent to talk about because it is so unique, but it is turned into me mm -hmm. in, into a date night scent. Yeah. Another yeah, thing, too, a lot night. of people ask me, yeah, a lot of people ask me about why agave ties a little different color the agave essential oil is wild it's like an orange brown excuse me it's like an orange brown and like it it just stains anything that isn't its color it's really cool obviously it doesn't stain like your beer or anything but like it is so such a potent color um if you look at fortunella next to or i'm sorry um agave next to any other butter or any other oil it's different than my other ones and i and it's funny because refine is actually like a black color the actual blend it's all essential oils but it blends in with the carriers and doesn't leave that black color but agave just leaves that really cool like orangish tone to it yep yep well we are already at uh i guess nine o'clock on the east coast eight o'clock here uh, so we kind of hit that hour. Anything else you want to cover tonight before we start to wrap things up? That's it. That's all I got. I uh, enjoyed hanging out with everyone. If anyone has any questions, you know, I can stick around and answer a couple more questions. But I, I, yeah, thank you. Yeah, awesome. I, I think it's cool that people get to come on here and, and um, pick my brain. And, you know, people like Jeffrey has talked to me about revive and I've kind of been like tweaking that recently. Some people will message me with some scent ideas. Like I genuinely take everyone's comments seriously and like look into things. So feel free to message me. I love, I told Ken before the show, like I just love engaging with everybody. Um, the community is important to me and you know, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Yeah. Same here. I second that for sure. Um, it, it, you know, Brandon thanking me. I, I thank you guys for hanging out in the chat for the chats on Sunday nights for, uh, for all the time. So it's been a great show. It's been fun. Uh, Brian, anything you want to cover, uh, coming up this week or next week before we, um, before we go, we kind of talked about fortune a little well, bit, May 3rd. Yeah. Fortune on May 3rd, I got a stripping bar on the site that I like soft launched. Um, I'm probably going to do a stripping wash. I just have to get the right lay the right setup so that it's it'll probably be something i always carry but it's not like a big release i have um but it's a, a pine and orange uh stripping soap um pine tar soap in one set only so that's on there now 
the a lot of people reached out to me thinking that psychedelic looks are uh being fruity lupox's new scent release that's just an art and um it's an art release and name release but yeah we i have some really big stuff coming i have a calendar some crazy cool scents that i'm working on um just stay in touch join these every we do these every two fridays every other friday and uh shoot me messages give me sent ideas let's just keep the the dialogue going i love being a i consider myself like a beard oil company for the community you know it's like made at this point it's like partially made by the community between ken and like dan's first review and the community's feedback like that's why we're where we are like it sounds kind of cheesy but it's 100 percent true we have been just taking I, I have my core rules that i want of being a best in the beard product and then i try to take everything that everyone else wants and try to like make it all work and it's been a balancing act but oh two ounce bottles man i haven't seen one of those in so long so I've got, so long i've got the two ounce coffee the dark roast yeah i think jack i remember jack talking to jack actually he i think he got them right at the end yeah he got those right at the end of that era so yeah yeah that's awesome. nice well jack great to meet you first time i think that i've seen you before indy wolf and uh was it brendan or brandon brandon don't want to mess that up yes great to meet you Super guys for cool the first time from me yeah. um, everybody else that's here yeah. um i'm i'm live every sunday on my channel all of our links are in the description of this video um so go instagram dead man's beard co Kinsconson. um of course the show we have our own instagram there um at why am I forgetting at behind the beers podcast? Why am I forgetting the name of our show? Um, that's mm. their links to our websites, to our YouTube, all that stuff is there. Um, so great to meet those of you that are new. Great to see all of you that, uh, that are here all the time. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And, uh, that's all I got, Brian. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great night and a safe weekend and spend some time with your family and your friends. And I'm going to try to do the same, even though I'll probably end up just working all weekend. Right. Right. Hey, you'll be asleep in about a half hour. <laughs> <I hope. laughs> all right have a great weekend everybody appreciate you guys appreciate you guys